to a day in life of Diab Jarman and Lobster Hugo. Welcome to my channel. Today is still September 10th. September 10th. Second video for my viewers. So hopefully everything's good here. Uh, I'm not even level. I mean, the way I look in the viewfinder from what I see, it's like really crooked. But it's telling me that it's level. I mean, that's probably because the lens is like, like kind of busted out of there. So. It being said and not sitting on that thing. And yes, it's getting very windy out there. It's going to be probably pushing over this trailer. But winds have gotten bigger than this throughout the days. So, I uh, hope you guys liked the last video. I'm sorry, you know, I wanted a peanut butter cookie around lunchtime because I just had, well, I had home fries. Now, there's many ways you can make home fries. And I like my home fries with a little bit of spice, a little bit of garlic. A little bit of uh, maybe crushed chili, olive oil instead of just margarine or butter or canola oil or vegetable oil. I don't know, a little bit of olive oil sounds, sounds a little bit different. It tastes different too. So there's many ways you can make uh, potatoes, uh, fried potatoes, um, home fries. Whatever you guys are going to call it, you know, you guys are frying the potatoes in the pan. And these are like, they're, they're washed. You can peel them if you want. I don't care about peeling them. Like, I like all the vitamins in the peeling anyway. So slicing them up in uh, like sugar cube chunks. And slice them up. And make sure you got a little bit, enough oil in there because you're going to be flipping it at least a couple times to get them all nice and brown. And I don't like to blast it with a whole bunch of heat and then throw it in there and then, and then turn it over and then... You know, it doesn't really cook it uh, as much as I want it. I want to have that crispiness and uh, the, the softness. I don't want to be, like, really crispy and then crunchy on the inside, too, because it's not totally cooked. So I keep it at a lower heat and, you know, cook a little bit longer. It's like maybe 12 minutes. And then three minutes of prepping, you know, you just, like, slice the potatoes and throw them in there. And I like to have potatoes and onions and... Even if, even if I do have green peppers, I'll throw some green peppers in there, too. Um, sometimes I'll even throw chunks of uh, Spam in there. That's something that's cool to try. Try some Spam with your home fries or, you know, a side of eggs. And I tried that, too, home fries, and throw an egg in there, too, after, like, it's almost done. And then when you mix it up and stuff like that, and the home fries are um, mixed with the egg, or the egg mixed with the foam, home fries, whatever it is. If you have an egg or two, anyway, um, if you have an egg and you have an egg with your home fries, within your home fries, and um, maybe you don't like a lot of home fries, you like two eggs, so you have home fries with your eggs. And, you know, there's various ways of, you know, cooking it like that. Like that. And some people have even done the oven. I mean, I've done the oven. I mean, that's okay. Um, I've done potato wedges in the oven. Now, those are good. Those are highly spiced, uh, lightly oiled, and baked, a, a slow bake. And delicious, delicious. But too much potatoes is not good for you. I mean, good veggies is good for you, but potatoes, like too much starch in there and, you know, stuff like that. Too much starch and potatoes are like weighing your stomach down a lot. But I'll probably say I had maybe half a cup of home fries. I'm going to decide to throw some uh, onion in there and, you know, it's regular vegetable uh, margarine. Throw that. Throw it in there, you know, for it for it to be uh, slowly cooked. Towards the end, I threw uh, like just a normal slice of bologna. I cut that up into chunks and threw it in there too, and mixed it around with that, and you know, it tasted all right. So that was about uh, about eleven o'clock. I did. I had that, and you know, it's uh, twelve forty-seven, twelve forty-eight now. 1248 and then you know coming out here on 1215 having his cookies and the drinks because there's a lot of cookies and it's just so sugary it's so sugary it's too much sugar it's should sort have of thought about that you know double the ingredients and then you got double the sugar you should have just stuck with a single sugar and then mix it together dough balls is just, it's something different too they like the dough balls of it hell was that? Weird. I can see the roof buckling up. Hmm. 
Odd. So when I came out here and looked for the dog's water bowl, he carries water bowl to this pile of stuff, like I guess it's his favorite stuff. He's got an old stuffed animal there. He's got an old uh, punctured uh, uh, ball there. Uh, he's got an old rug there. He's got a big stick there. Um, he's got a two liter uh, pop bottle of some kind of juice in there too. It's been sitting there for a while. Then there are other twigs and stuff like that. And he piles there. He takes his big jug out of the ground and he, and he brings it over to this little pile of stuff, like like it's his his uh, no his treasures, you know, uh, stuff that makes him happy, I guess. But he pulled it out of the ground and. With enough rain since uh, this morning, I think it was like 7 or 8, it started raining, raining until like 11, and then it slowed down um, between 11 and 12, and then I came out here, you know, there's not really any rain going on right now. I, I wish it was raining right now, because then you guys can hear that rain. But anyway, back to Doug. His water bottle, there's a thing that you, um, you fill this thing up with water, and it's got a cap on there. And you take the actual bowl itself and you, you fasten it in there. And then when you turn upside down, the water from the jug will fill up his little water bowl. So that's just, just inside his, his uh, house. So that from the house, or our house, my dad's house, that when he looks out to Doug's house, he can see how much water he's got left in there. But it's pretty far away. I mean, I can barely see it. I have to go out there and I'll take a look and go, okay, you're good for another day, or are you good for two days, or three days, and he had a, not, he had a full bowl yesterday, and you know, there's no water in a jug, and I, I'm not going to waste good water, because this is good water I got from, from uh, my city, and it's distilled water, and I heard, you know, it gets you an upset stomach, because somebody bought, you know, water, and they weren't going to get reimbursed back for it, because, you know, they already got it, and Anyway, distilled water will give you a stomach ache by the second day. And then, you know, the more you drink it, then, you know, the more of a stomach ache you get. And it's distilled water. I don't know what the difference is, uh, but there's, you know, spring water, there's bottled water, there's filtered water, there's brittle water, there's um, reverse osmosis water, there's distilled and uh, regular crappy tap water. Got a lot of rust and stuff in there. But anyway, I filled up his thing and then put it inside the door and I said, Did you leave your your bo your, uh, your your water bowl there? And he's like all happy and jumping around trying to jump on me because he's getting a little bit of tension, you know. He's always on the chain, but he's on this uh, this clothesline. He's uh, zipping up and down the, the, um, the property here. So it goes pretty far. And he always likes to lay on these, this old uh, trailer. And I'm like, what in the world, dog? What's wrong with you? Why are you laying underneath the trailer? Nighttime and usually during the day he's laying, laying underneath the trailer. When it's rainy he's in his doghouse. He doesn't want to get wet, I guess. I think he needs to be thrown in the creek and then he get, you know, get cooled off and might be good for his fur. Um, I've been feeding him for the past five days. No, no, I've been feeding. Him, I've been feeding him for seven days now. And. I always have to look for his damn pot. There's a the old pot that, you know, he gets his food thrown into a pot. Uh, he uses dry food. Sometimes I'll throw some treats in there. Sometimes a little bit of table scraps. When I did that, uh, two big steaks, I mean, it was good. It was it was a little bit overdone, but it's not to say that, you know, you could rip it apart and be like pulled pork. But it was a nice steak. It wasn't that thick. It was like this thick. I mean, that's why it's a little bit over. It should take it down maybe down 30 minutes at least. Maybe 20 minutes. But the juices from that and the, uh, the onions and the, the, the carrots, um, there was um, maybe if you put the carrots and onions together, it'd probably fill up a full cup. So I am eating like half of that. So... No, not a full cup. Full, okay, two cups. Two cups of veggies. I had a cup of veggies, and the other, the other half I could not eat because it just so much salt came out of that meat. I don't know if the salt is, you know, and that meat is salted, or that, that you know, the water and uh, heat pulled the salt out of the meat. 
I'm like, oh man, this is too salty. So I ended up giving the dog, the dog got a treat. Even more of a treat. Sometimes you give them a dry bread because you know, sometimes the bread ends sit around, they sit in the bag and nobody wants the bread ends. Like, still bread, why not eat it, you know? It's like sometimes I'll like go to the second slice or the third slice, you know? If I'm making a sandwich, I'll go to the third and fourth slice. Sometimes the second, third slice. Or I'll just say, screw it. You know, I'm not making a big sandwich, so let's have a, the, the, the first heel of it and then the second slice and just make a sandwich. Sometimes I'm in a rush and like, oh, I want to make something to eat, but I don't need to go outdoors and do this and that. And I, I just quickly butter, you know, the heel bread and then go out the door and then start eating something. I don't think there's any time that bread has ever went to waste except for, you know, it's, um, but it's in the freezer for a bit and then, you know, I eat it and, you know, and then anybody else comes by will not eat, eat that uh, bread because they'll look at the, uh, the bread tie and notice that, you know, the date is, you know, kind of far, but that's because that's freezing bread, you know, you usually eat that bread within three months, you know, all frozen. But sometimes the bread will sit around and, you know, I'm just busy a day after day or today and busy and it's not, it's not, it's not, it's very rare. It's very rare that, you know, bread will go to waste, you know, get moldy or anything like that. Sometimes if I'm hungry and I got a few spots of mold on bread, I'll pick the spots of mold off and eat the bread. I don't get a stomachache from that. But sometimes I say if it's, um, I don't know, a quarter of that slice of bread is, you know, got mold on it. That's kind of risky because, you know, it's everywhere on that thing. Then there's times, you know, we, we uh, you know, don't notice, like, we always get another loaf and stuff like that. And we're moving stuff on the uh, old freezer and stuff. And um, some slices of bread will be in, in the, uh, still in its uh, packaging. And it'll slide down the wall to between the wall and the freezer, and we don't know until you know we're cleaning up and we're looking around like, oh, there's uh, some uh, there's some bread back there, and you take it out, and it's all nice and like uh, well sometimes uh, blue and white, but when it's like blue, white, and gray, then you know it's gone past its time. There's no going, no, there's no ifs, if, ands, or buts about that unless you. I have an iron stomach like I used to have, and you're gonna to just say screw it, and no, I don't know. I, I I can't. I've never went that far of that mold. You know, there's you no know, some mold bread or moldy uh, meat or not I meat, expired meat, moldy cheese. You know, slice the you know, the mold off. It's and eat it. You know, I've done it many times in my life. I mean, I've had stomach aches. You know, and just trying to eat this, this, and that, and then, you know, if you're hungry, it's food. You weren't going to eat it. I don't, I'm not the type of person that doesn't really waste anything. And I'm not picky about anything. I'm not picky about anything except for, you know, too sugary stuff. I mean, that's, that's one thing, you know. Like, it, you know, like uh, buying donuts or the neighbors buying donuts, you know, for everybody. And I'll be choosing the less sugary option. And, you know, I rather have muffins. I don't really like donuts. I don't really buy donuts and muffins at all. Like, even once a year, maybe. So, I might as well wrap this up right now, guys, because uh, I want to go to the next video, I guess. If you guys do like this video, please do hit the like button. Please subscribe to me. Make sure this video on the channel, my benefit you, my benefit me. Please do tell your friends and family about me. Thank you for viewing this video. What time day you guys watch it? Hope you all have nice days. Remember, members, remember, average than original.